Hi, my name's Kelly and welcome back to my channel. So today, I thought we'd do something a little bit different. I haven't really done an art supplies haul on my channel yet, so I thought that would be really, really fun to do. A lot of it is new supplies, things I've never tried before, things I've been wanting to try. So I went and collected my order this morning from Hobbycraft, and I thought we could open and have a look at everything together. So let's take a look. So everything that I'm gonna be showing you today is something that I've ordered from Hobbycraft. Hobbycraft is my go-to store. If I'm not in Hobbycraft, I'm ordering on Amazon, and that's about it, really. So let's get started. So the first thing that I ordered are five little tote bags. I ended up getting five of them because I really want to experiment with printing on fabric. I've done a lot of fabric painting and painting on clothes and stuff like that, but I've never actually done printing on fabric. So a few weeks ago, you might remember that I made a little stamp for the first time cutting lino. And a few days ago, I decided to try and make a print for the first time using lino. That was a crazy experience. I had a few fails. Some of it worked really well. Some of it didn't work so well. So I'm definitely gonna be trying some more of that But I wanted to use that print on this fabric using fabric paint So I don't know how that's gonna end up going, but I'm gonna do that over on TikTok But as I mentioned, I ended up getting five of these in total. They were a pound each, which is so cheap The next item I am so excited about it's a round canvas A few months ago one of my friends over on TikTok was making these fruit canvases using the round canvases And I loved them and I was like I want to do that So in a few weeks you might see a video where I do a fruit on the canvas so if you have a suggestion for what fruit I should do on this round canvas let me know but yeah this canvas only cost me four pounds which isn't too bad and the back of it feels really sturdy and I'm just really really excited to try it I got so many exciting things that I forgot about I literally only ordered these yesterday <laughs> so next up I'm gonna do a lucky dip Ooh. okay I thought these were gonna be bigger actually but the next thing I got are wooden spoons so obviously first thing you think of is you can just get those at the supermarket but these were only two pounds for all four of them and i was ordering from hobbycraft anyway and i thought this would be a really cool video you may know or may not know i've actually painted on a wooden spoon before and it was the most fun thing i've ever done but here is the spoon that i made before it's just an egg spoon this was one of will's spoons from we used to cook with and i decided to give it a makeover and i love it it's one of my favorite decor pieces but i think they're so cute and i love having lots of little things in to do projects with because coming up with video ideas is hard. <laughs> so the next thing that I got is a bit boring. It's just a piece of grey felt. This is only 50p. The reason I got this was to go with the fabric bags that I bought. Since I haven't done printing on a bag before or fabric before, I decided to get a piece of spare fabric for 50p just to practice on before going straight onto the bags because I didn't want to waste the bags. So yeah, not very exciting, but it's gonna serve its purpose. <laughs> Next up are some paintbrushes. I almost get all of my paintbrushes from Hobbycraft, but actually a bunch of the brushes that I normally get were sold out this time. I've never actually had these brushes before, so I'm looking forward to using them. But yeah, these are the Hobbycraft Art Gold Taclone brushes. They cost me £2.50, I believe. Or was it £2? £2.50. Since we're taking a look at brushes, here is another brush. This is a slightly more expensive one. This is a De La Rowley Graduate paintbrush. It's one of my favourite brushes to use. It's got a really thick fluffy top and I just really really like them. As I mentioned a bunch of the brushes that I normally get are sold out but I managed to get this one and this one was £2. So as you can see I got some really cheap ones for £2.50. I got six and then I paid £2 for just one but that's quite a Whoa, I hit the bag. So yeah, a little bit more pricey, but also a really, really nice quality brush. I'm gonna end up using this for everything. Rock painting, keyboard painting, everything. So the next item is to do with the fabric painting once again. I have a bunch of new items for the fabric painting because I've never really done it before, so I needed some new things. So I ended up ordering this System 3 screen painting black paint in the color Mars Black. There were so many colors to choose from, but I decided to go with black to begin with because I've never done it before and I might hate it but this was my most expensive product it came to 10 pounds which is quite expensive for a little bottle of paint I wanted something that I knew was going to dry waterproof especially if I'm going to be selling these tote bags spending 10 pounds on this was a bit like ah! but it's going to be worth it I think <laughs> so the next product is a bit of an impulse buy I've seen loads of people doing like wax seal stamps lately I actually bought my mum one for Christmas 
Christmas and I've been buying her different types of wax seal technique things. But I've seen everywhere, especially my friend Jellybean Celine over on TikTok, use glue sticks for the stamp. So I went ahead and ordered myself these seven millimeter glitter mini glue sticks in a pack of six. They were two pounds for the pack of six. And I'm so excited. They're like a glittery silver and I'm very, very excited to use them. I can't imagine what I'd use them for other than wax seals, but I think they're so cute. And the packaging itself is actually glittery, which is like a win. <laughs> so I'm probably not gonna use these for a while until I get a wax seal, but I'm excited to try them. So the next item I actually thought was gonna be a bit bigger. I didn't realize how expensive lino things were, but I did decide to buy myself some new lino because I've run out. So as I said, I thought these were gonna be a little bit bigger. They're the same brand as the ones that I've used before, which is Esty. Oh, I said they were expensive, but they weren't so bad. It was 2 20 for the two pieces. They did have bigger ones I probably should have measured, but I'm still gonna get good use out of these, so I'm very excited. Next, I'm gonna show you these all together because they're all the same brand. I bought, surprise, surprise, three new Posca pens. I've actually had these colors before and I still have some of them at the moment, but they're running low. So I decided to get them as a top-up set. They're all the same size. They're the medium size PC5M. So I got the colors ivory, light green, and brown. I usually try to get these on sale, but I use these colors so frequently that I just had to get them. They were £3.50 each, which is quite expensive. But yeah, I use these every single day. So if you guys love Posca pens as much as I do, Hobbycraft is the place to go, but they are quite expensive. I only have two items left. So the first one is a replacement for something that I've just completely filled. This is a tear off palette. So this ended up being £2.70, which is really quite cheap for one of these. My previous one I think was about five or six pounds. What I love about them is that the sheets are glossy so the paint doesn't like absorb into it like it would paper or cardboard. But yeah, I really, really love these. And for the price, it was super, super good. So yeah. And the final thing, and it's not even that exciting. It's a tray! Yay! So exciting. But it's not actually just any tray. It's actually a tray for printing once again. So basically what this is for is you put your ink in the tray and you use a roller to pick up the ink. I've just been using like pieces of card and stuff lately and I decided to invest in one today. I think this was quite cheap. It only cost me two pounds and I'm gonna be using this all the time. It's gonna be a lifesaver. But yeah, for two pound I just thought I'm just gonna get it because I'm gonna be using it all the time and it's gonna save me so much cleaning up and so much mess. But yeah, that's pretty much it for my haul. It was a bunch of like mishmash random stuff. Most of it was like lino and printing stuff because I'm experimenting with that at the moment. The total of my shop was 46 pounds and 40 pence. Every item was 10 pounds or less. I feel like I got quite a good haul for 46 pounds in general. But I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope I inspired you to do something or buy some new art supplies. If I were to recommend anything, it would definitely be Posca pens if you haven't got your hands on any yet because they're amazing and they're so versatile and you can use them on rocks, you can use them on wood, you can use them on plastic. They're just the best. But I think the item I'm most excited to try are the glue sticks. I don't even know why, they just look super exciting. But that's pretty much it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the haul. If you guys wanna see me do another haul like this, let me know down in the comments below because I really enjoyed showing you all my new supplies. But if you guys are new here, it would mean the world to me if you could subscribe and like the video because it really helps me out. You can also check out all my other social media channels down below. You can check out my Instagram, my Snapchat, my Twitter, my TikTok, everything. Oh, and even my Twitch. But anyway, Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next Friday at 5. Bye! So I think I got quite a good um um haul. <laughs> I sounded like a cartoon character.